Hello everybody, I'm Dutch, and today I wanna to show you what a true two-person hammock is with two independent beds. Um, we're gonna go over, this is the bird's nest, which uses two netless hammocks, um, put together with a spreader bar going across it. There's the chameleon, the double Dutch bug net that goes onto the chameleon. And then also we have the Clark. This is the VX. On the Clark VX, um, what I really wanna highlight is the suspension. So um, you're gonna use one tree on the foot end and you put one tree hugger that goes around there and then there's two whoopee slings that come off and then this is the tim pitch um, adjustment system. So you can pull these tighter or looser when there's nobody in the hammock using these whoopee slings. Um, so each person is using their own suspension um, and it really creates, there's hardly any movement at all when one person moves. Um, there is two independent beds, as you see down here. And there is a triangle that connects in between them. Um, and you can store gear and things like that, but it is, it is all one shelter and um, and it is a great way for families to get out. This uh, on the head end, again, it is a totally independent system. We set this up with trees that are far apart and this right now is pulling really hard to, to pull these hammocks apart. However, inside the hem, we put webbing to reinforce it. And then we also have a webbing strap that goes from tim pitch to tim pitch to restrict that from moving. So this would be um, an extreme for how far you want you can set it up, but it gives you a wide variety of trees that you can set up on. So um, ideally, these trees would be oh three foot closer on either side, um, but those ideal trees aren't always there, and it still works. If this tree was further back, you just go and you set this longer, and as long as as long as they're not too close, because if they're too close um, and this webbing isn't being pulled tight, then it's going to, um, th then they're gonna be coming and people are gonna be coming closer together and they could be bumping. So it is more comfortable as long as this is being pulled tight when it's set up. The difference between a two person hammock and a double hammock. First of all, a double hammock could be used, um, meaning it's just a wide hammock it could mean that it is a two layer hammock. Uh, but if you really want for two people sleeping, you really wanna have two separate beds, very often um, using a spreader bar to keep the two apart. And that way there is, um, you don't feel the other person sleeping are right next to you. And, and, and one person can get out and also under quilts really are meant to be um, you would need two under quilt systems for this. So this is the bird's nest bug net. And the bird's nest bug net is designed to go around um, your netless hammocks so that you can turn um, two netless hammocks into a single cocoon that goes over both ridge lines. That is one thing that is important with this is that both hammock has a ridge line. Um, in this, you can use hammocks that are different lengths, um, but you wanna keep the head um, the head's parallel, and you would make the adjustment on the foot end. Um, and if we start up here at the head, we're using this with the beetle buckle suspension and a 32 inch spreader bar. And you can see how that clicks into there. So, um, and then you are simply going and putting each hammock suspension on each beetle buckle. Uh, one of the important parts of this is that um, you only need to get one beetle buckle suspension for the two hammocks because the only place we have to put a spreader bar is on the head end. So um, one of the important factors of the amount of stress that goes onto this bar is the amount of distance from the tree to the bar. So if this tree was right here, there would be a lot more stress on that bar than there is on the, when it has a longer triangle here. Another thing we wanna do 
And this is a good thing to do anyhow, is we wanna keep this going straight. Um, this is the line that supports. Um, if I had a Dutch clip in here, or if I had a carabiner, you still wanna keep this to be um, going as straight as possible so that it puts less stress on um, the entire system actually. And uh, also, if you are, especially when you have a bigger tree, this tree is only like five inches, but if you had a bigger tree, you're also gonna put less stress on your bar um, by going, this hammock is over on this side and this hammock is on this side. So you can see which way the loops go to, to give you that advantage. So on the foot end, we do the same thing. And the one thing I wanna make note here is that we are using um, a different suspension. We really only need um, the beetle buckle or you can use a double hammock whoopee hook suspension on the head end and you can use something different on the foot end. So on the bug net itself, there is a place for the suspension to pass through on either end and there's a little shock cord loop here. So you can tighten it up and make sure there's no bugs. To get in and out, there is um, a, a zipper that opens in the middle and there is an independent one on both sides. So each person can get in and out and inside of there, it's hard to see because we're using um, cloud hammocks on in here, but there is two hammocks in here with two different beds. And I'll show what happens when this gets loaded independently. So go ahead and, and you'll notice that uh, they're able to get in one at a time. You wanna set this a little bit higher. It's not, it's not extremely high, but um, you wanna make it so that when one person gets in the hammock that they're not on the ground. And then when the other person gets in the hammock um, that they will equal it out. The fact that we have one spreader bar in here um, spreading the, the head end and none on the foot end takes away a lot of that seesaw effect that you get with the, uh, with, with, with the two person hang. Um, these people are hanging independently and, um, and although you will, you know somebody's there, but um, you don't feel every bit of movement. Also, um, we put a we put a piece of um, waterproof material on the very bottom here. This is a bit of a splash card, and also you can store gear down there. It also is a great windbreak for down there. I want to show off the double Dutch chameleon system, and this makes your regular chameleon into a two-person hammock setup. And what it comes with is a net that goes over both ridge lines. So um, both occupants share the same space um, and, and it connects the two hammocks. There is a triangle that is zippered on the other side. One of the things about the chameleon system is that um, the zipper system makes it so that you can remove components. And here, the component that we're removing on this side and this side of this hammock is the bug net. And we're attaching this one bug net that goes across both. Um, and then on the insides of the hammocks, we are zipping on the triangle piece, which actually joins the two and also seals the bottom. On the double dutch, um, you can tell the head end from the foot end. One thing, the foot end, just doesn't spread as far. But on the bottom, there is a single buckle to hold this net around. And that, that is how this um, bug net actually gets attached on the foot end. On the head end, I can flip this over. You can see that there's three buckles that attach that to the triangle. So that's how you know which side is gonna be the head end that takes the spreader bar.
with one spreader bar on the head end um, and then none on the foot end, things are a lot more independent and you get less movement and less seesaw motion um, from, from the two people occupying the hammock. One person can get out and it does teeter a little bit, but it's not as bad as if there's one on either end. We want to use a 32 inch spreader bar for this. In this particular case, I'm mixing and matching so that this is um, a beetle buckle on this side. And I put the double hammock whoopee hook on this person's hammock. So these hammocks can be independent um, and there could be also two bug nets here um, in case they want to do a solo trip. Um, but we have made it so that this, this way you can go out with your family. And it's one of the things that we're really proud of is to get families and couples out together um, and they don't have to be 20 yards away in the middle of the night. So I'll show how these get loaded. And you'll see the amount of movement that you get, get in them. There is gonna be some um, teetering when, when the two people get in. Um, we set this usually a little bit higher than what you normally would, um, or else when the first person gets in, it winds up, uh, it winds up being um, a little bit too close to the ground. But we're only talking a couple inches. So when the second person gets in, there is not um, a whole lot of movement. You see that there is um, a little bit of a distance in between the two people and so that they are not bumping. And that's what, you know they're there, but you're not pressed up against each other and you're not in a um, two people in a single hammock, which honestly for sleeping really doesn't work. Thank you, everybody.